I promised another chapter with Brian Lilly, and he's here right now because I want to put the question to him. Some days left to the end of, the, of this campaign, and we know the liberals are in trouble because they are pouring gazillions of billions of dollars into the campaign and into the promises. Is it going to hold for the conservatives? Are the liberals going to fold? What can we expect in the next few days? What I think we can expect in the next few days is a lot of mudslinging. Um, my understanding is that the liberals have uh, a number of names of conservative candidates that aren't vaccinated, and they'll try and drip those out. Well, what about the because well, liberal candidates are accused uh, of sexual problems, or, or the liberal candidates that aren't vaccinated because um, or that know, one in Papano who has a sexual history. Yes, J J Justin Trudeau has tried to make vaccination status an issue, and I wrote about it and said. They're not all vaccinated. John Iveson asked Trudeau the question. He admitted, he's like, well, some are waiting on their second shots. If you haven't had your second shot yet, it means you just got your first at the start of the campaign. So the liberals How have How can you this. shoot arrows at the other guys when, you're, when you don't have a defense? It, it doesn't matter to Justin Trudeau. He does it. Some in the media let him get away with it. They're being tougher on him this time, I got to say. They're a lot tougher on well, him than they have Well, the media was in love with Trudeau the last two elections. Absolutely. Most of the media. Now they're being tougher on them. So is it going to hold? I don't know. And, and then this platform announcement. $78 billion in new spending, only $25 billion in new taxes. That's fairy dust spending because he's going to tax the banks and the rich. Well, what, what, do, what do the banks oh. and the rich do when you tax them? They move money around so they pay less. You know that budgets take care of themselves. And with this increasing economy until the announcement just a few days ago that the economy is starting <laughs> to tank, we're going to make more money. Yeah, uh, look, that's how he's going to pay for it. it that, that's a problem for O'Toole's campaign as well, the fact that the economy is going down. They're oh. all relying on this going up and up and up. Look, you can't spend forever. You know, it, I don't care which party you're in. Yeah. You can't spend forever in, in increasing fashions and just say it'll take care of itself. It won't. Eventually, the bill comes due. Isn't that the problem with politics these days? So everybody says, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, I'm going to spend more money and give you more things for free. And many times people say, fine, I'll accept it. People like things for free. They do. And, and if, you don't, if you don't pay for it, if you, you know, it, we have increased the level it, that you can earn before you pay taxes. And that's not a bad thing. I support that idea. You shouldn't be putting it on the, the backs of people who are at the bottom end. Absolutely. But at a certain point, you, you can't keep giving everyone free stuff. And it seems to be an election about free stuff for Trudeau. O'Toole's being accused. Well, he's used to free stuff. He's used to free stuff. He is a trust fund baby. Jagmeet Singh came out the other day and said he will tax offshore tax havens. You know who that would hurt? People with names like Bronfman, Colbert, Trudeau. They, they've, they've got trust funds. They, you know, their names have shown up in the Paradise Papers. This is a problem for them, but Singh's got a good idea on that one. Yeah, that's going to get some folks. Brian Lilly, thanks very much. So now we are in the middle of Justin's Vandy election. And all over mainstream news, you're going to have the same news day after day after day. We are not going to have every show between now and September 20th on the election. We are going to have some very, very important analysis and some smart ideas and thoughts that you will not find anywhere else, hence PayPal, please. But I just want to lay it out for you that we will also be having some people in on this show who are not big names, who have something to say about the issues, because when it comes down to it, elections are not about the people so much, it's about the issues and how it impacts you. Stay tuned. We're going to have some good ones.